What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI, another Dell Precision T3400 and I'm, I'm going to be upgrading today the memory, video card and we're going to be upgrading the hard drive and the solid state drive and the processor at the same time. So what you guys are going to do is remove the side cover panel here and first off we're going to start off you guys can zoom in the camera uh, we're going to start off the memory here, it's got 4 gigs in here, I'm going to upgrade to 8 gigs and it's a DDR2 DDR2 memory I'm not sure if you guys can see it really well you're going to hear 2 clicks when you install the memory So we just upgrade the memory to total 8 gigs, so it's 2 gig per each slot, it has 4 memory slots here, it's a DDR2 memory. And right now we're going to start off the processor, and you need a Phillips screwdriver, there will be, and there's going to be another screw right here on the other side. Let's zoom out the camera. And remove right here the little plastic right here that holds the pro the heatsink fan right here shroud. Remove that. And first thing you guys are gonna do is you're gonna clean off the the heatsink right here. It's got thermal compound in here to do that. You need like a high quality paper towel. You can buy this at any grocery store, any hardware store. They sell this. And uh, just remove it. If you can't remove it, then you can just use a 50% rubbing alcohol just to remove it and apply some thermal whatever that will be alcohol to remove it really easy really quick just put the bag over here so you don't want a thermal compound flying into the motherboard okay so we're gonna move the old thermal compound in here this little bit's flying uh, coming off, so say so we remove the thermal compound. It looks like looks like new, just like that, really easy. Looks really clean. Now we're gonna remove the the processor here. I'm gonna zoom in the camera. So it's really easy, there's a little clip right here you guys can see. Press it to the right, right here very gently. And release it and just remove the the processor, the socket 775. Okay, here's the processor. And we're gonna install the upgrade. Uh, yeah, the machine supports Intel Core 2, uh, Intel Core 2 Quad. If you guys are going to use it for light gaming, just go with the uh, Intel Core 2 Quad. quad. And uh, the processors are not that really expensive. You can probably get it for like around $40. So here's another processor right here. And the way you install it, right here, you see the pin right here, the little corner cut corners? It's going to go right here on the left side like this. Like that. Really easy. Really quick. So just install the processor. Now we're gonna apply thermal compound. The easiest way we're gonna pull the thermal come out compound right in the pro on the heat sink. And or the other way you guys can do is you can just do, take the thermal compound and put it right in the middle right here, not too much right here in the processor. When you install the heat sink, it will spread evenly. But uh, I'm just going to apply it to the heat sink right here. Not too much. That's good enough. And you can use a credit card or anything like that or a debit card or something like you have a gift card just to, to spread it around.
and put more So yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. And just reapply, install it back. Install it back. And I'm gonna screw it back on the two screws on each side. And the other side. So we just upgrade the processor. Let me zoom out the camera. Now, let me remove the old processor here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade the hard drive. I'm gonna zoom in the camera here. You're gonna disconnect the SATA and power cable and remove the hard drive ca caddy here like this and I'm gonna be upgrading guys to 500 gig at least uh, for the uh, for data storage right here it's 500 gigs half terabyte 72 rpm 3.5 inch hard drive uh, you can use any kind you want this is Western Digital it's 500 gigs so install it back now connect back to city city cable and power move the hard drive now okay so we're gonna go with the video card here and there's a video card right here installed we're gonna get the remover right here there's a little clips right here to remove the PCI bracket right here right here just press on that and if you your probably video card may might have a screw right here use a Phillips screwdriver to remove one screw right here to remove the video card and there's gonna be a little clip right here on um, right there to release the video card I'll show you guys it's gonna I can't spell well, the camera can't see but uh, there's gonna be a little clip on it you have to put to remove the video card right there can you see you gotta press it down very gently very carefully press it down to release the video card so here's the video card the old one and I'm gonna be installing guys a GT, uh, GeForce GTX 950 show you guys the box GeForce GTX 950 for light gaming perfectly fine if you have a core 2 quad and you install the machine is GeForce GTX 950 video card perfectly fine uh, the power supply that's in here is a 375 watt and it does have a 6 pin power connector guys you guys right here so we don't have to upgrade the video card this would be perfectly fine and here's the power adapter right here so PCI 6 pin for the video card upgrade and install the video card there's gonna be another PCI bracket you guys have to remove right there there's another bracket to remove because it's usually two slots right there so install video card just like this like that and uh, connect the six pin power goes to the video card like that now you connect that back If you, if you probably don't even need this, if this is a kind of blocks it, the video card right here, then what you can do is just remove it. You don't even need that. This right here, because it blocks when you install it right here, it kind of presses down the video card. You don't want to do that, so just remove that. We don't need it. So now, what you guys are going to do is uh, we're going to install Soul State Drive in here. Let's see, let me get the Soul State Drive in here. And. Where's the soul state drive? And 
So here's a solid state drive. It's a 2.5 inch. You can use any kind you want. I would say uh, go at least uh, 256 gig. I would go minimum uh, 256 gigs, or if you have more money, just go with 500 uh, 500 gig minimum solid state drive. And so it's gonna run a lot cooler, a lot quieter in the machine. And if you're not gonna want to use the hard drive instead. And the way we're gonna do, guys, is really easy. You have to go online or go to any hardware store and or grocery stores they sell this too it's a two-sided tape like this they sell it two-sided tape and what you're gonna do is you cut a little piece off and apply one right here and cut another piece off like that with the knife and like this and what we're gonna do is uh, it's a two-sided tape they sell it at any grocery store or any hardware store they have it. It's, it's really cheap. It only costs like a dollar, two dollars. Really cheap. You guys can get online. Or you could get online if you guys in Europe or in Canada or any other parts around the world, they sell it to two-sided tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to install it like this. Connect the, the right here. First, you're going to connect the SATA cable that's going right there. Connect the SATA cable. Connect the SATA cable first and the power. And you're gonna apply it right here. See right here the bottom one? You can just install it like that. And you're done. It's gonna hold really well so you don't have to. The tape will hold pretty well. So I just installed the solid state drive on the bottom and it's it's gonna have really good. It's this this is a two-sided tape pretty strong so it'll hold pretty well so you don't have to do anything just install solid state drive and it'll be perfectly fine so we install the solid state drive in here the 3.5 inch it doesn't matter what kind you use a thin or any kind of solid state drive it will work and so yeah see it's hold pretty well so now we upgrade the memory solid state drive hard drive video card and the processor and so what you guys gonna do is you guys gonna go online to nvidia.com and get the drivers for the video card install the video card and we start the computer and connect the monitor directly to the video card and you guys can go ahead and do the bias update on the machine uh, Dell Precision T3400 the, the latest bias they have is A14 and if you, I'm just going to leave in the comments the link uh, again the bias update is the A, uh, A14 the latest bias install I recommend doing that so that's, a, that's about it guys uh, we upgraded the memory video card processor hard drive and a solid state drive so you guys uh thanks for watching bye